Hello and welcome to your second lesson on scripting in the UDK3 environment. Um, what you're looking at here is Explorer++, which we talked about in our last UDK3 video about getting this and using it. And what I'm going to go do is go through the structure here as to how to set up for the first time uh, to get our version of UDK3 ready for scripting. So the first thing I do is I open up computer and I go to the C drive and open that up and I come down here and I go to UDK and I open that up and when I do that I see the different versions of the UDK3 editor that I have. Uh, makes no difference what version you have as long as it's one of the later versions. So I go ahead and I open up that and once I open up that one I open up UDK game and I look for uh, the folder called script and I open that up and I double click and when I open that folder I see that I have many different files here now what's important about the files inside this folder is that I don't change any of them I don't add anything and I certainly don't remove anything but what I have to do is I have to make sure that none of these are read only so to do that, I left click on it, and then I right click on it, and then I go to properties, and I look at properties, and I look at this little box down here. If this box is checked, make sure you uncheck it, and put apply, and put OK. And do that for every one of these uh, files here. Now you only have to do this when you first install a new version of Unity. This is just to make sure that the good folks at the UDK place uh, didn't inadvertently leave one of these files as a write protected file, as a read-only file. Okay, with that said, I'm going to go back here to my UDK, latest UDK folder, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open it, and then I go to UDK game, and then I go to, um, uh, let's see, UDK, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I go to development. I was reading wrong things here. And then I go to SRC. Let me close this. I don't go there. I go to SRC. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a folder inside the SRC folder. Uh, and I'm going to call it my scripts. We could call it anything you wanted to, as long as it's a unique name. It's not the name of any of these other folders. These are all the folders inside UDK3 that contain the scripting for UDK3. I chose the name My Scripts because it's unique, and that's the name that we're actually going to use in this video uh, tutorial series on UDK3. So, like I say, you can use any name you want, but if you're going to follow these tutorials, use My Scripts and make sure that uh, you have the same case, you know, the capital M to capital S. Then open that folder once you do it and make another folder inside there called classes. And we're not going to put anything inside the classes folder for now, but just make sure that it's there. Okay, now we should have a directory structure that uh, looks sort of like this. Let's have a review of what we've done. The first thing we did is we went here and we made sure none of those files inside there were write protected. The second thing we did is that we went here and we made a folder here for our own scripting and we named it My Scripts. And we'll use this in the tutorials. Then we opened the My Scripts folder and created another folder called Classes. You must use that name. You now have a directory structure that looks like C, UDK, UDK, uh, whatever your version is, then development, then SRC, then my classes, and then classes. And then we'll place, you'll place all your scripts inside the folder called classes. Now, the next thing is we need to tell UDK where your new folder is located. So we're going to go to this particular file on UDK. C, UDK, so on, UDK game, config, default engine.ini. And we're going to open this INI file in Notepad. So, you might say, oh boy, this is a lot of work. 
You only have to do this once, though. In other words, any time you make a new folder for your scripts, which for these tutorials will only be one time, you only have to do this once. And so it's not like a continual pain, uh, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so we'll see how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, tell Unity where uh, our new folder is located. So we go to... Uh, uh, we open our latest version UDK. We go to UDK game. We go to the config file and we open the config file, double click. And now we look for default engine INI and default default uh, default editor, default engine. There it is right there. We right click on it and we're going to open it, edit in Notepad++. I open Notepad++ pad plus plus there it is and I see right here this is what UDK 3 already had in there it had these lines of code I added and what you will have to do is add this line of code right under these two lines this tells the UDK 3 system that I have a new folder uh, and I have a, another folder inside there called classes that's where I'm going to keep my script. Notice I do not put a forward slash classes here because Unity knows that there's going to be a folder in there called classes. As a matter of fact, for UT Game content, there's a folder called classes. For UT Game, there's a folder called classes. So this is what I need to do at this point. Okay. Now when I come over here, I can simply, of course, what I do is I save it. Okay. And then I can close this out. Now that's a done deal. One of the things that I like about um, I like about using Explorer Plus Plus is that I can use bookmarks and I can set up directories for the bookmarks. Let me move this over because when I do that, it's not coming out. Uh, and you see, I have a, a book up for uh, a bookmark for setup that I have for one for my UDK programs. And I click on that, and it takes me right to the folder that I need. And there's my first program that's in there. And this program is the one that we're going to create on our next uh, video. So that, that's it for this uh, video on UDK3 scripting. Okay, thank you for watching.